What's going on guys? I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today, I have a pretty special video. I haven't done anything like this on the channel before. Um, I've done vlogs, but anyway, I'm going to be giving you just a tour of my movie room that I like film all my videos in, that I watch my movies in. Uh, so yeah, it should be a laid back, fun little video for you guys. So let's get right into it. So first, I am in my hallway right now and I just walk in this door right here. Now I'm in the movie room. All right, so I just walked in here is the door. And then if you turn to the right, I have a Rocky poster on the wall there that I'm probably gonna replace because I know that I have um, the Endgame, Infinity War, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood poster. They're just not here at my house right now. Um, there's an outlet right there I can plug stuff in if I need to. I've got the huge Blu-ray shelf here and I actually have this table in here that I will like film um, my live streams on. I'll film certain videos on. I have my water bottle here that I probably should have moved. But um, yeah, I've got this Gryffindor scarf. I got this at Universal when I went recently. I think I'm gonna hang it somewhere on the wall. I'll show you guys where I think I'm gonna hang it. And I actually use these board games to put my laptop on so that it's a little more eye level when I'm actually um, doing live streams. Then I have these headphones here, AirPods that I use sometimes. I have this terrible chair. So if you're wondering what I sit in in live streams, it's this chair I literally put the Star Wars blanket to like cushion because it's so uncomfortable. That's something I desperately need is a new chair that I'm probably gonna have to get. So that's why I've started sitting on my couch actually. Uh, but yeah, here's a Blu-ray shelf right here. I'm not gonna go in depth on it because I have a collection video on the channel. I actually have two, but I'm planning to do another collection either at the end of the year or next year, but I have them kind of sorted Criterion's, Pixar, uh, Disney animated, haven't watched the movies only. Those are the only movies that I haven't seen. Godfather part three and Gifted. Then I have TV shows um, and then Alphabetical. And then that, I gotta figure it out. I'm gonna re resort that probably, but I've got this fan on the roof that I have on sometimes in videos and some lights there that I usually don't have on when I film because I have these lights. I have this ring light right here. Then I have this Jaws poster, which I really do enjoy, but I'm probably gonna move it here when I get the other posters that I want uh, in here because I need to add some more posters. Then I have these two lights that I use to film as well that I kind of just leave over here when I'm not filming. So this corner is literally just like lighting equipment. And then over here, that's just a door that goes into like nothing. It's like a bunch of foam on the ground. Then I have this couch right here that I sometimes do live streams on with a pillow. And of course I have my original trilogy of Star Wars posters, New Hope being my favorite, then Empire, then Jedi. Love all these movies so much. Um, huge part of my childhood in general. Then I have these LED lights right here that go like that, that I love having on in the back of my videos. They really just add that extra flair to the room. And then if you come over here, I have the little remote for them that you can change the color. So I'll just kind of do this. Um, let's see, red, green, and then orange even. Yeah. So I like to keep it on blue, especially when the lights are on, just because it adds the extra like flare. Blue is like one of the cool colors for LEDs. So you come over here, I've got this little tripod that I use to film my videos with. Got this for about $15, $20 on Amazon a long time ago. I've been using it ever since I started. And then uh, over here, I've got my shelf that's in my background. So I've got the California out of time license plate from Back to the Future. I got this at Universal Studios, pretty cheap. So if you want it, you probably even find it online. It's a really cool little collectible. I have my baby Yoda that I love, the child. This is one of Cam, my girlfriend's vinyl. She went through a phase of painting them in the summer. This is like one of the rare ones she painted. I love it. It's one of my favorite things that I own. Uh, just because it's like so unique to, and it really just kind of makes the background pop. Got my Thanos pop, my Harry Potter wand. You're a wizard, Harry. And this is a new collectible I got. It's the DeLorean. I got it from Universal. If you hit this button right here, it lights up and I'm like trying to be the flick pick so hard, but I just love it and it's so cool. Um, I honestly might start collecting more collectibles. There's my hand in the shadow. It looks like a freaking claw from like Toy Story or, or like a spider from the Mandalorian new episode. But anyway, I've got, these are my like favorite pop. That's why I have them up top. So I've got uh, Iron Man in the Mark One suit from uh, the first Iron Man. I've got Cap with Mjolnir and I have Thor uh, from Ragnarok at the end when he goes on the bridge and lights up. His eye is actually like caved in there, which is awesome detail. Uh, these are like my three and it's like the big three in their coolest like moments. That's why I have it. And then if you come down here, I'll actually sit down where I film <laughs> to show you guys this. I've got more pops in here. So I've actually done a complete Funko Pop collection on Cam's channel. We did a combined one, so you can check that out. I'll link the video, but I've got, uh, do a quick overview for you. 
uh, Hulk with the Iron Gauntlet from Endgame. Then I have Mysterio from Far From Home. Spider-Man from Homecoming. That's Iron Man from Endgame. It's a box lunch exclusive. This is Cap from Age of Ultron. Thor from Endgame with Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. Then I have my Jaws line in the back with Quint, uh, Matt Hooper, and Chief Brody. Then I have Home Alone, of course, Kevin McAllister in the middle with a BB gun in the iron. And then you've got Marvin Harry on each side of him. And then you've got Doc Brown from the end of Back to the Future 1 and Marty McFly in his classic outfit. And then down here I have uh, Bruce the Shark from Jaws. This cool Back to the Future pop with Doc with helmet. I need to figure out if I'm going to put it here or not. And then this really cool, I've had this for a while, this Spider-Man figurine. I really like it. The detail's cool. And then down here I actually have my case for my Harry Potter one. And then some little collectible games, like a blockbuster and movie movie trivia games that I got in my stocking for Christmas one year. Over here is where the lights are plugged in and they run along the wall there. And then I've got this extension cord that actually goes here because this is like my POV when I'm filming. That's what I see when I film right there. There's a light here, light here, camera. My mic, my Blue Yeti microphone that I usually keep plugged in. I have this rickety table that I film on. And then I've got my laptop here. This is the extension that I use to connect the mic. And then I've got the charger here. I have an extra phone charger and I have my Mac charger. And then again, I sit in this terrible chair. I really need to like improve that. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm slacking. But over here, I've got this puzzle that I put together with my girlfriend, Cam. Back earlier this year, I wanna say, um, during quarantine. And it's a thousand piece puzzle. We did it in one day. Love doing those, but this is such a cool, like unique puzzle, I think. It has really great like movies, like Titanic, you see right there, Jurassic Park even the Barbasol can from Jurassic Park. And then it's just like, got so much detail, like Big big Lebowski, I'm actually wearing a shirt right now for that. Uh, just so much detail in it. I love this puzzle. I think you can find it online, but I figured it'd be something cool and unique to add to my background. So I was like, hey, might as well glue this thing together and just go for it. And then if you come over here, I've got another couch that I sit on to watch movies. Usually this is my movie laying couch and like my TV's over to my left, I'll show you in a second. but. Um, these posters right here, I got these two at Universal. Back to the Future, classic, E.T., love it. Raiders, I've had that poster for some time. It's the re-release poster, the return of the Great Adventure. See, the original poster is kind of hard to find, but this one I love, especially the, the iconic design. And then Singing in the Rain, one of my favorite musicals of all time. So I actually have more posters. I just put them in my closet. I have Psycho that I also got at Universal. I have Whiplash and I have Forrest Gump. I'm gonna figure out where to put those soon. If I put those posters up, they'd probably go right here. Then I have this little table over here that has like this cool thing. It's Garrick Ollivander. Came in a chocolate frog I got at Universal. Cam, my girlfriend actually has a ton of these. She, she got like six or seven of them. Then I have this Thor figure that used to be in my background, but Baby Yoda took his place, so I gotta find a new spot. And then two Harry Potter books that I got like a little bit into that one but I'm just not a huge reader. I'll finish it eventually, but Madden 20, haven't got 21. And then this is a little door. Right here though, uh, Cam's mom, if you're watching this, she got me this for Christmas last year, top 100 movies. Um, I've seen most of them and I've not seen, you know, I'll give you the ones I haven't seen. So it's got really cool. You scratch it off with a coin or something every time, but I haven't seen Blade Runner on the 100 movies list, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Um, let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Eternal Sunshine, haven't seen that one. Haven't seen Train Spotting by Danny Boyle. Pan's Labyrinth, Once Upon a Time in the West, Sergio Leone, I believe. Hot Fuzz, Seven Samurai, Criterion Sale, gotta get it. Mulholland Drive, this David Lynch. Clockwork Orange, don't know if I'll ever watch it. Old Boys, the South Korean film. Spirited Away is a, uh, what's it called? What are they called? Studio Ghibli movie, I think. Some Like It Hot, Marilyn Monroe. We've got Leon, The Professional, I think that has Natalie Portman in it. The Exorcist, don't know if I'll ever watch it. Shaun of the Dead. I gotta watch Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, and The World's End. That's a Cornetto trilogy by Edgar Wright. Raging Bulls on my list. Amelie is a French movie, I wanna say, and that's it. So I've made my way through most of this poster. Um, I just gotta see, you know, I gotta see a few more. Here I actually have my Xbox One. It does the job, it's a 4K player. I have a bunch of extension cords. I have this right here with my sound bar. There's my water I put down. This is my TV. It's a 65 inch TCL 4K TV that I love watching movies on. I'll sit right here on this couch and watch movies like that. So I get a big picture, very clear, and the sound bar really just enhances that. But then I have a cable box down there. There's some stuff in there, not really important, just like Blu-ray cases, some GameCube games and stuff. And then the light switch here, and that's the room. And also, I might put my Gryffindor scarf there. So yeah, there's a quick little behind the scenes video of the room that I always film in and watch my movies in. Um, if you guys like this type of video, let me know in the comments down below, because it was a lot of fun for me to film. I like showing stuff like that. So if you'd want to see more like 
on Sundays, maybe I could do videos where I showcase different things like my pops or different collectibles I have because I own a lot of Georgia like football collectibles too. So if you want to see stuff like that, definitely let me know. But uh, I think that's going to do it for this quick little video, this little vlog of my movie room slash filming setup. Uh, definitely hit the like button. And like I said, comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think. And um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean the world. Um, any support just means so much. I got a big live stream this week with Nathan Hale, Nick Acosta, Trevor, and myself. 9 p.m. Eastern here on the Filmstock channel. But stay tuned for all that and more videos, Mandalorian content, all that good stuff. Until next time, see you guys later.